Hi all. I'm going to play against the evolving, rapidly evolving Leela Zero today. So this, I'll be playing on the easy mode with Playouts 1. And in fact, I'm going to try and spend my time as well because I've noticed I've been missing some tactics from yesterday. Just to show uh, it is 193. Bit of evidence here for you. Um, I'll just, just uh, copy that part of the sc screen where it's got the ID today. So this is the 26th of April 2018 at 10.15 a.m. UK time. So the rapidly evolving Leela Zero. Uh, it'd be nice if they could show just immediately, uh, yeah, b before playing a move, the ID, but it does when you play a move. Uh, just a quick checklist theory, philosophy, for me playing my moves. Uh, because there's no time limit, uh, I was playing a bit too quickly, and if if you're into checklists, uh, simple checklists, true or false, have you done some part of the checklist or not? But in chess, uh, we're more dynamic. You know, the more time we spend looking at forcing moves, the more forcing moves we'll see. Uh, so when there's no time limit, how would you say what the maximum time is? Well, you could do a SWOT analysis of your opponent's strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of you and your opponent. Now, my opponent here is a neural network engine, which means uh, it's very, very different from playing an ordinary engine, especially with playouts very low one. This is the easiest on the demo website. So you'd expect, actually, you must expect tactical blunders. If I were playing, say, uh, a stockfish, en stockfish engine, I would say it doesn't matter if I spend five seconds, five minutes, or 50 minutes, it's still probably gonna crush me even playing very very quickly but here we have an opponent that if you spend the time on your mental checklist how much time do you want to spend on a move you should get better quality moves which actually there's a certain threshold of tactics which will pierce the armor of Leela zero so it's a very very good training actually for the first time against an ai opponent whose positional play is very respectable as well. So you can learn a good positional sense from playing against Leela Zero, much better than other engines in the way. Very human-like play and human-like blunders. So a wonderful opponent, evolving each day. So get onto the bandwagon of playing Leela Zero and try and take your time. I'm gonna try and take my time more on easy mode. Okay, so Sicilian, let's, let's get into this now. <clears throat> Okay, so knight f3. We're on we're on normal mode. Okay, starting for here, we're on the normal mode because easy mode is not working. I'm really gutted about that. So normal mode with 200 playouts. I'm probably just going to get absolutely massacred. But let's go anyway. Let's just assume that there's going to be tactical issues. That's probably a bit optimistic of me to assume. C-file. Now the knight e5, we didn't know that knight e5 is on the cards. Yes, it kind of did. Now if I play this, I've got knight e5. Ah, tactically, it's not that amazing, is it? No, 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 I've got a good position here. I think you just need to spend your time. So this is actually normal mode, 193. So a pawn up here, tactically, knight d5, that looks good as well. Uh, sort of. Uh, knight d5. Uh, okay, now it's it's a little bit uncomfortable. No, if I pile up on d6 though, we're doubling the rooks. Let's just double the rooks here. So isn't bishop d6 just winning a pawn here? I'm in trouble. Don't tell me it's some horrible trap. Nope. All right, there is uncomfortable pressure. I just hold the e pawn for a moment. Unpin here. So I can play f3. I get rid of the knights. Try 
try and get rid of the queens next. If they rook d3, queen e3. Oh no, it's a bit dangerous. Okay. Hold on a sec. Am I going to get tactically blasted now? H4 is really, really dangerous. Oh, crikey. Give leader an inch. And uh, take a mile. Okay, queen f2. To queen g3. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> B4 for rook c5. There's not too many tactics to play out, and I'm getting positionally murdered, aren't I? So I can assume every time that I'm not doing a tactic, I'm just getting positionally done over. Maybe that's maybe that's what's happening. Ah, uh, okay. Queen f2 is that stable enough? Now queen g3 is rook g1, so it's, I'm under great tactical pressure now. Can I not take on h5? Is that hopeless? I'm going to take on h5. Yeah, queen g3, rook g1. If I take on h5. Right, it's preparing to attack my king all the time. Or g takes and rook g6. Now I'm feeling a lot more pressure. Great. Hmm. So even though she tactically blundered, I'm under scrutiny here, <laughs> to say the least. Tactical scrutiny. I can't evict these pieces that easily, it seems. How do I evict these pieces? H4, rook, g5. Is there a move here? So queen g3 seems to fall to rook g1. Is there any move here? Blimey. I'm under too much pressure. Is there a tactical move that can get me out of it? Any sort of move that can get me out of this. e5, rook f5. e6, rook d5. Rook d5. Maybe... Mm. There's always queen g5 check. Uh, king h2, queen f4. Um, yeah, I can't really see how I get out of this. Is h6 possible? Maybe h6 is the best under the circumstances. Try and relieve the pressure. Okay, now I've got a check. Now there is queen a7 potentially. Actually, that looks very strong. Queen, oh, there's queen f3. <clears throat> okay, if I take the queen back with rook f7, then there's queen d4. That might be a good way of unraveling. Taking then queen d4. Is there anything wrong with queen d4? Otherwise, I'll get the checks in of queen f4. So queen d4. Get the checks in. All right, now this looks like very good news. Queen e7, let's make one here, isn't there? I don't want to miss the basic tactics. Okay, <laughs> this is Leela ID 193 on. I can't believe it. I've beaten this version of Leela on normal mode on demo website wow okay i think one needs to take one's time but that's really interesting you know there was a huge amount of pressure on my position that seems a common thing i've been noticing on these low playouts it's like the intuition is really strong so every time you let leela press her intuition on you you get basically under more and more pressure tactically uh that's that's just a very very interesting phenomena here. Okay, the queens are going to come off here. Am I going to be worse in this end game? 
If I play F4. Now bishop d6, rook d8, I can take. We get a, it's a three to two ending, which is being navigated into here. Now we're going into a three to two end game scenario. So let's t let's take that scenario. Mind you, my opponent's got three to two over here, but will she use those passed pawns or not? Are those okay? Some committal. Ah, king e2, knight c3. <laughs> Will she use her past pawns? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is evil. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, now I'm, I'm under great pressure. Intuitively, she's played all the right intuitive moves, like playing Capablanca or something. Um, and the pawns are being used. The three to two over here, and it seems I can't do anything because she's actually suppressed my pawn majority with b4, so that's pretty instructive. That's very nice. Oh dear, I'm gonna, aren't I? Um, what can I do here? What can I do? I think it might be lost. I just don't know. I think I'm going to be under more and more pressure as these pawns come down. This is going to be some tactic with the pawns. Uh, there's always knight c3. Oh, there's a3. Hold on. I'll try and set a trap. a3 on knight c3. a3. Ah. Okay. Now I've just fallen into knight loot. Oh. Okay. Uh, ah, okay, that could have been a tactical mistake. So let me, um, queen over there. That's unfortunate that that didn't happen. So now I'm doomed here, I guess. Um, uh, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I think this is over. Uh, all right, I think I'll give it up now, unless there's going to be some major tactic she misses. I don't think so. So let's restart the game. So play out 200. Um, I think... The queens came off then. I was just outplayed as if I was playing Capablanca or something. Reincarnated. So if there's a tactical weakness, it might be useful to keep the queens on. Maybe g4. Okay. This f for Oh. No, that I've just fallen for a tactic. Hold on, there's rook f6. And bishop e2. So this actually seems to work quite well. Mm, bishop g5 pinning though. Bishop e2, queen e2. With that pin, knight g4, queen g4. That's pin. Now knight g4 is on the cards. If I just keep that pin. How can I keep that pin without knight g4? Well, queen d2 might be useful. Queen d2 might be useful anyway. Kick this guy. That's b3. Right. Now, I think she's in this pin, which is torture. If I can just double. How does she get out of that pin? Gives up a piece. Cool. Oh, for a lot of pawns, a lot more pawns than I should have given. So there's still work to do. I've got to, I've got to get some more tactical ideas going, I think.
I take that or not? Do I take it or not? I think I should because it's. Um, Am I playing too quickly again? Am I playing too quickly here on Rook G2? There's some tactics introduced there and here on the F files. And I've just lost the exchange like an idiot. Well done. Well done. Yeah, this is not playing too quickly here. I'm demonstrating fully. Uh, even though I said I wouldn't, but it's too tempting. I don't know. Where would my next tactics be? Bishop e6, bishop f3, bishop g4, bishop e6 maybe. If I don't get blasted on that h-file. Yeah, I'm about to be blasted on the h-file. Would she actually give up two rooks for queen? Not necessarily. Or will she? No, she doesn't. Okay, how can I get something going here? This is tricky. I get this other knight into the game. Will I get masked? So knight e3, okay, I'm going to lose another pawn. There's bishop d3 after. Potentially for Queen G6. I could play Bishop F3 here. Yeah, there's Knight D3 there. So Knight E3, Knight E4, Knight E4, Rook E4, Bishop D3, Rook takes Queen G6, King F8. There's nothing. <clears throat> so if I played bishop f3, there's knight d3, is that really bad? Uh, there's a lot of pressure, it's just an enorm enormous amount of pressure. Again, <laughs> if I take then opening up e5 square. So, uh, don't know, I'm stuck. Uh, is it? I think I have to look for tactical opportunities down the line here. Knight e3 takes takes rook e4. Ah, knight g4, maybe knight g4. Okay, that's one. Knight g4 here. If f5, there's queen takes e4. Actually, that's one. Ta I think pins in particular give a sort of scope, a uh, deeper scope for tactics. Like if there's a pin pawn here, she might miss this. So knight g4, or not, <laughs> uh, bit optimistic. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, knight e3, okay, oh, I'm getting done over. No, um, yeah. It's that done over feeling, it's constant. Okay, queen g3. Try queen g3 here. Yeah, it's knight e3. Mm. It's like uh, enormous pressure, enormous. Uh, I think these pawns are just going to come at me. I was rook h1 threatened mating. This is getting horrible. This is so uncomfortable, to say the least. Queen e3. Now these pawns are just major. This doesn't look like the type of position I have uh, interesting tactics. To be honest, uh, off against the queen's off. No, I think it's pretty hopeless, actually. My a two pawn's going to go. Let's 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 try again. 
<clears throat> so unfortunately this morning this morning this morning easy mode is uh, not available it seems okay so normal mode it is let's get try and get the pieces back refresh my internet okay So normal mode again. Let's try bishop b5 check. Knight f5. So any tactics here? G4. This is this is a really tactical line. I seem to remember vaguely. How does it work? G5. Well, oh, there's Queen D5 hitting A8 and F7. Or oh, there's Bishop F7, Queen D5. There's Bishop E6, okay. So it's not that easy tactically to exploit, is it? Um, mind you, there's Queen H5. Hold on a second. There's Queen H5. This looks a bit dangerous. Okay. Well, for a moment. Yeah, I'm I'm under the uh, pressure again. It seems like a totally depressing position again. I think once you reach a totally depressing position, the, the idea that you can actually find tactics, especially on normal mode here, <laughs> is is I don't know. It just seems more and more unlikely. But uh, there's a tactic here, Bishop F4. <laughs> having said that, Bishop F4. I mean, these pin tactics in particular seem. Uh, mind you, you should just ignore that with bishop f6. Oh, there's another pin after. No, I've just fallen for a tactic, haven't I? I've fallen for it. Uh, I think this is just losing for me, isn't it? The way it's been played. Ah, oh, gee. It's losing for me. I'm just losing a piece there to a counter pin. <laughs> Trying to exploit the pin here. I've just lost to a counter pin. How wonderful. How glorious. Yeah. Just to put this on the board. Yeah. Okay. So let's try again. Tries to attack me with h5. Surely this is punishable. Okay, I know I'm playing too quickly. I know. I'm not going to spot any amazing tactics at this rate. Or even basic ones. Uh, basically. I'm going to be going a pawn down. It, but I'm, I feel positionally murdered here. So that's that's the interesting thing. I really do feel positionally murdered. I mean, Bishop E2 and Rook A2 was winning a pawn. Was that not good enough or something? Yeah, look at the dark square control and everything. So Knight F4, Rook F2 or Rook F2. It just it just seems so depressing positionally. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Absolutely. Knight f four. Yeah, I, I'm losing the two over here. I've got no attack over here. 
this seems as though so far it's like the very first game on this mode I was I was lucky for some reason uh, this is just totally diabolical looking position I, I I think I just have to give it up I don't think I can I can pray for any tactics here <laughs> basically there's, there's not prayer there's no prayer for any tactics there let's try d4 All right, this gambit, Albin counts gambit in reverse. Try it, real gambit. Could I find a weakness in the opening? Ah, that's weakening the dark squares. There's B5 there, is there? No, not yet. I think, uh... I'm losing that pawn, aren't I? I could try d6, f takes. Oh, d6. It looks absolutely miserable again. Incredible. It's it's just again a totally like depressing position. My structure is wrecked. There seems to be basically no counterplay. I tried to play an interesting opening, and I get this total wreckage let's let's try again e4 again okay do i dare play the smith roll let's take b3 i'll try this let's protect this bishop the snyder variation uh let's just go into knight e3 i think mean, it's lost already yeah no that's that's lost already <laughs> <laughs> Forget the Snyder variation. Put that away. Put that away. <laughs> Let's try C3 Sicilian. Can I try that trap? Oh, I wish I could try that trap line, but she hasn't gone in for that. Uh, okay. Is, is there any tactic around here which she could fall into? Basically, is this another way of playing? Say, I'm saying I'm playing for traps or something. Is, is that really the case? I'm playing for traps. Knight e5 or c4. I'm under so much pressure again on the c4 square. Uh, <laughs> c3. Um, Is there a possibility of rook c2 on knight c3? Or is there knight e2 after rook e2? I'll go for that. I'll go for that. Is that a little trap? Knight c3, rook c2. Oh, maybe it might be. Is it? Nope. I'm getting murdered. It's not been taken. The clamp is on. You know that, that song here is on. The clamp is on here. Uh... The clamp is on. Okay. Are there any tactics anytime soon? Yeah, rook e4 could be a tactic. Rook e4 could be a dangerous idea. At some point. Okay, I'm under pressure. I'm still under pressure. H3 is immediately to terminate me with h3 and queen f3. Can I play h3 and I, I get massacred? She thinks her expected score is 66.95%. And she's thinking now, I don't know why she's thinking so long now. Has it crashed? Ah. <coughs> uh, uh. Well, I think it might have crashed. Okay, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, snip the video here and look at the graph of Leela Zero just to keep keep an update on what's going on graph, you know, with their own data for what sort of Elo 
rating it is, etc, etc. Et so the next part of the video, let's have a look more broadly at what's going on with uh, Lila, Lila, Lila Zero. So I hope you enjoyed this session and uh, let's uh, conclude here. Okay. Okay, here is Leela's progress graph. You can tell sometimes it dips, but then it goes back again, as long as it's experimenting with concepts. Apparently it's experimenting with concepts, uh, reinforcing them, so reinforcement learning, and maybe using them more appropriately later, so the concepts which it's picking up. So you can sometimes get these like paradoxical dips but as a prelude to getting better later, which is amazing. Uh, I asked on... Uh, the uh, Twitch, uh, some expert users, um, Joshua, an expert user about the project. And what I was interested in is the amount of memory it takes, and it's only about 30 meg. And apparently, when it stops being able to beat itself, then they'll put more neurons. So neurons are like exactly what we've got in the brain. That we, Our neurons kind of, <laughs> what do they do? They fire when we're stimulated, so it's like, getting more and more neurons but it doesn't even need more neurons at the moment while it can still beat itself on earlier versions you know while this self-learning it's um it's still making progress at the moment now this is not as i mentioned before this is not a real elo rating but apparently it's starting to get at uh engine levels so the number of active users per day is, is really there's a lot of active users google colab is the leader at the moment so I think uh, people are using Google's resources, uh, which is great. Full Elo graph. Uh, okay, that is the full Elo graph training data. Okay, stats. So this is uh, interesting stats. Whatever they mean. Um, matches. Uh, there's a forum you want to visit you might want to visit but yeah okay uh so yeah it's it's interesting uh all right i'll uh i'll conclude here okay hope you found this interesting thanks very much